Hi, I'm Babblefish5, and today is part two on an ongoing series of different ways that I cook with my Swedish Army mess kit. Today, we're going to use this as a Dutch oven. The Swedish Army mess kit is only about two and three quarters pounds, and it's a very big kitchen in a very small package. The only time that I don't carry this with me is when I'm hiking or backpacking. If I'm car camping, base camping, hunting, or on fishing trips, I carry this with me. For today's Dutch oven demo, I'm going to be making something called a Larrapin stew. I've made it for years in a cast iron Dutch oven, so today in the Swedish Army mess kit, I'm going to do the same thing. You just have to cut the ingredients down. Now, you don't have to use this recipe. Whatever recipe works for you. This is just for the demonstration purposes. So our ingredients actually are pretty simple. Quarter cup of white onions and bell peppers. Two red boiler potatoes, cut up roughly. A few baby carrots. Half a cup of uh, kielbasa. And bacon. I really hope my cardiologist doesn't see this video. There are two types of kits that you can get with a Swedish Army mess kit. One's a stainless steel version, and the other one is an aluminum version. This is an aluminum version. So if you're Dutch, using this as a Dutch oven with an aluminum kit, one thing that you need to be aware of. Using campfire coals or uh, any type of cooking like that, you, you can actually, with a campfire or just regular charcoal, can actually get a hot enough heat that you actually start to melt the, uh, the aluminum. So the key to cooking with a Dutch oven on this kit, on the aluminum kit, is actually just low and slow. You want to, you want to kind of hold back on the coals and kind of keep things a little bit, uh, a little bit less hot. And it's very easy to keep your heat down, and uh, it just takes a little bit longer to cook. So your patience is rewarded. Uh, just remember, low and slow. If you have the stainless steel version, feel free to put the spurs to her because on a campfire or charcoal fire, you're not going to get it hot enough to melt stainless steel. Well, the first thing I do when getting ready to cook with a Dutch oven with this is actually take and put a, uh, uh, some heavy-duty uh, aluminum foil in the bottom of the windscreen. And uh, I fold it in half, so I have, there's probably four layers uh, of, uh, of aluminum foil in there. And that actually helps uh, kind of keep your, uh, it kind of helps keep your, uh, your, your coals in. And typically I'm cooking with uh, campfire coals. Today I'm just cooking with regular charcoal, but normally I would have regular campfire coals in it. It helps keep the coals in, so if you have to actually move the windscreen around, you keep most of your coals actually in around where you're, uh, where you're needing to have the heat. Your lid for your Swedish Army mess kit is actually what you would use for the top of your Dutch oven. So uh, one thing that I've noticed that if, uh, if you're using um, coals, even in char regular charcoal or you're using campfire coals, depending on the wood that you use, you can end up with kind of a resin that ends up uh, in the bottom of that ends up in the bottom of this. Um, so it takes a lot to get it scrubbed out and if you're using it uh, well, you're, you're out for a few days and you're still using it, it can kind of take your, make your food taste a little bit funky. So what I do to solve that is I take another piece of aluminum foil and I just make a small little bowl with it and put it in there. Okay, so now I've got the coals ready. The coals are already hot. I've got them stuck in here. And you'll notice I have my coals actually ready on um, on my fry pan or the top of the Dutch oven. Here's where uh, your uh, your sticks come in really handy because both these get really hot. So, see the D-ring and the stick makes it a whole lot easier to move stuff around and I'm not burning my hands or anything. Okay, coals are ready. All you really need to do, take a billy can, put it on top like you normally would. So it doesn't take the Dutch oven, the billy can, or the Dutch oven to get hot, especially uh, when you're using campfire coals or any kind of coal set up this way. So the first step is the one that my doctor and my cardiologist hate the most and that is to render the bacon out until it's about halfway cooked. And once your uh, bacon's rendered out, you just want to add your onions and your bell peppers. Once your stuff is sweated, then you just throw the rest of your ingredients in. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then put your top on. 
And now we just wait. Now just remember, every few minutes, about every 10 or so minutes, to avoid hot spots, you need to, like any Dutch oven, you need to actually turn. Uh, and it's a little bit difficult with this because of the way the coals are. But you see how good that's looking? And I wish you could, I wish we had smell o vision because it sure does smell good too. But the way I take care of the hot spots is actually kind of go through and just adjust that way. And if you're using campfire coals, you just kind of stir your coals every few minutes and you can pull your billy can off and stir the ones underneath that too. And that uh, helps keep the hot spots um, from forming. And make sure to stir every now and then too. You probably want to stir a little bit more than you would with a normal Dutch oven. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes, and actually, we are done. Pull this off. Our potatoes are done. Kielbasa is done, and yep, our carrots are done. Soup is on. Our stew's done, and it's time to plate it up. I hope today's demo of how to use the Swedish Army mess kit as a Dutch oven was helpful and shows some of the versatility that this kit has got. It's a small, it's a big kitchen and a really small package. And there's a reason why quite a few people really love this kit, myself included. If you found this video helpful or you liked it, please give me a positive rating. Your comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail.